Hey there folks, Ricky Trent here with Cutlery & More. Today we are going to talk about knife edge maintenance. And so we have a variety of options here and we're gonna go through each one of them. So in today's video, it's more of a general information video to let you know what's out there, uh, what you can use, and who may want to consider which of these sharpening accessories. But keep in mind, these items that I have before me are not the only items available. There are sharpening wheels, grinding wheels that can get very, very expensive. Uh, what we have here is more of what is accessible, um, that's very affordable and easy to use. Now first we have the honing rod. Now sometimes you will hear them being called sharpening rods, sharpening steels, or knife steels, but the main purpose of them is to hone your knife's edge. Now whether you have purchased a Wusthof Icon block set or a number of other sets that are available, you will most likely find a honing rod included in that knife block set. Now we have all seen cooking videos where chefs will take their knives and run them on their steels for 10 or 20 seconds and get right to the cooking. Now in a professional setting, that may be fine. It may be required to hone your knife before every cooking session. In home use and daily use, you can really use these once every few days or once every day if you really wanna do that. They actually are very easy to use. The learning curve that it takes to use these properly is very, very low. So really within a few sessions, uh, maybe two or three honing sessions, you will be a professional. Now for people who are looking for something that's easy to use, uh, accessible and also affordable if you don't have one with your knife block or a knife that you purchased, the honing rods are usually the cheapest way to go. They get your knives very, very sharp very quickly and they don't take a lot of time to learn how to use properly. The next option we have here are the whetstones. Uh, this here is a whetstone. Uh, whetstones are usually soaking stones. You soak them in water for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, some people claim that sharpening a whetstones give them a connection that they normally wouldn't get with using honing rods, leather straps, or hand sharpeners. And that is because they are actively sharpening their knives with every stroke. They control the angles, they control the pressure. And so for a lot of folks, that may be something that is very attractive, but there are a few things that you need to understand. First. The grit ranges are extremely wide. You will find whetstones ranging from 80 grit all the way up to 30,000 grit, and sometimes even higher than that. And so they can get very confusing. The other thing that can turn you away from whetstones is how expensive they can get. Uh, whetstones can cost you anywhere between $10 per stone, upwards of thousands of dollars per stone. You know, those knife aficionados are sharpening things like expensive samurai swords and restoration swords and honing razors. So there are many uses for whetstones and whetstones as fun and exciting as they are, they can be very confusing for people and also very expensive. So if you are just getting into knife sharpening or just getting into knives in general, whetstones are something that you may want to read about, but don't pull the trigger on one yet until you actually know exactly what you are getting into. The next option we have here is the leather strap. Now the main purpose for a leather strap is to either hone or polish your knife's edge. They are very, very close in terms of functionality to the honing rod. So that actually makes a leather strop a very useful tool and a desirable tool for people who want razor sharp edges without getting into the expense and confusion of whetstones. For example, you can simply take your knife and run the knife on your honing rod for 10 to 15 strokes and then throw it into the leather strop for 10 to 15 strokes. By doing it that way, by having a rod and leather strop combo, you can have a razor sharp edge with less than a minute of investment every single morning. And they also are usually pretty affordable. You can find leather straps for between 10 to say 60 bucks, and you can load them with different compounds and give them a variety of grits. So you can really have all of the customizability or customization of a whetstone uh, without actually sharpening on a whetstone. And for someone like myself who may not have the 15 to 20 minutes every single day or once a week to sharpen your knives on whetstones, having a strop where it only takes 10 to 15 seconds of investment that will give you a razor sharp edge is a really good option. Now the last two items that we are going to look at involve a little bit less work for you as the end user, but also will give you a pretty good edge comparable to what we have here. Now this here is the Vustov Universal Sharpener. It has two main settings. The first setting is for your Vustovs or your European knives. The second setting is for your Asian knives. Now there are other sharpeners out there that may just have one setting for either an Asian knife setup or a European knife setup. Um, this particular one has two setups for you. Now within each option, you have two grit levels. You have your coarse and your fine option. Your coarse option are for knives that have not been sharpened in a while. So if you were to use this once every two to three weeks, you would start on the coarse and then move up to the fine. If you're the type that likes to sharpen your knives every day or every two to three days or even once a week, 
you can simply use the fine option and your knives will stay razor sharp. Now this sort of a sharpener is really great for someone who wants a sharp knife without having to worry about the investment and the variety of whetstones and the angles that's required to sharpen that and the different pressures that you would need to sharpen any particular knife. Um, all of the work is done for you. You simply take your knife and draw it onto the cutting blades and it gives you all those benefits in a very easy and safe to handle package. Now the last sharpener we have here is the Vursov Sharpener by Chef's Choice. This here is an electric sharpener. It does all of the guesswork for you. Everything about this is designed to give you the sharpest knife possible, as fast as possible, in the most convenient way possible. Now this particular sharpener has three distinct settings. You have your sharpening, your honing, and your polishing. Now this particular sharpener is utilizing Vursov's P-Tech technology. If you'd like to learn more about P-Tech, please head over to this video over here. So to use this sharpener properly, all you need to know are two things. First is how to turn the unit on. The second thing is that this sharpener requires you, the user, to alternate your strokes between the left and right slots that are included at each stage level. After about five or six strokes per side, you are able to move on to the next stage. Now this particular sharpener is designed for someone who wants the precision and sharpness that you can get on a whetstone with the polishing effect of a strop, but in the convenience of a hand sharpener. So this really is your all-in-one sharpener. The Chef's Choice Sharpener gives your knives the sharpness that you can normally only find in a commercial sharpener while delivering it to you in a compact, easy to use, and maintenance-free package. If you have any questions regarding any of these products here today, head on over to our website at cutleryandmore.com. We'll have additional information at the product pages for you. We'll also have great customer service reps that can answer any questions you may have. We will also leave links to the exact items in today's video in the description below. If you have any questions for myself or our YouTube team, please leave them in the comments. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And on behalf of the folks over at Cutlery & More, my name is Ricky Tran. We'll catch you in the next video.